What's going on, you beautiful eights? 1124 Eastern Time. And AMC is doing that rocket thing. Let's not get too excited because 6470 was where we got rejected the last time we entered this realm. Currently with a high of 6325. But in as much as we want to talk about price action, I've been getting a lot of emails, people asking like, hey, what are we voting for? What is this vote about? And we're going to jump into that in a second. Now, if my chart doesn't look like yours, there's for a reason. I mentioned in my last video, line style. You could also find this on your mobile app towards the lower third of your screen and off to the right. Here on the desktop app, we click line style. And as you guys can see, Heikinashi. But that being said, let's go ahead and look at the questions for the voting. I'm gonna be totally candid with you guys. I am not voting until the 28th. For me, I really want to see what the next month or next five weeks means for AMC stock. We may enter the squeeze at that point. And if you guys have seen any of my previous videos, you would know that the average squeeze lasts about 10 to 12 days. This gives me some room before I make some very critical decisions. But what decisions are we making? Now, I've been getting a lot of emails like, Dave, did you vote? How'd you vote? I'm not going to tell you guys how I vote or how I intend to vote because I do not want to influence voting. What I want to do is to be completely neutral on the possibilities and how your vote can influence uh, the success of AMC in the near future. Okay, so let's go ahead. First question, but well, before we talk about the questions, you have for, you have against, and you have abstain. So abstain, like abstain for sex, you're either for it or against it, but if you get married like Apple Jacks is in two weeks, man, he's gonna be pounding it. Good for you, sir. <laughs> and then pretty soon the wife's gonna have a boyfriend after he gets all his AMC tendies. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at these questions. So I want to start from the bottom up because number five is to approve the adjournment of the annual meeting to a later date or dates if necessary. I personally, and this is the only vote you're going to get from me, I would vote for four. Basically what AMC is saying is, is like, hey, can we push the date out if we need to? And I think that this is rather strategic, especially in the midst of the squeeze. So I think that for all of us, four, we are for this because I do not believe AMC would want to uh, impede the squeeze. I mean, AMC would just lose its entire investor base. So to conduct a non-binding advisory vote to approve the compensation of named executive officers, Quite frankly, I don't know what the fuck that means. Number three, to ratify the appointment of Person Young LLP as our independent registered public accounting firm for 2021. Now the board recommendation is four. So hey, whatever. Next up, election of director for term expiring at the 2024 annual meeting, Mr. Adam J. Sussman. They recommend four. Whatever. You guys can keep playing golf on a weekends together, right? There's no reason to break that team up. Election of director for term expiring at 2024 annual meeting, Mr. Gary F. Locke. Or Locke, or Locky, or however you're going to pronounce it. Hey, look it. I'm, I'm just... I don't know, it's just four, they recommend four. I mean, you know, like they're buddies. The election of director for term expiring. And then we got Mr. Philip later or latter later is more than later, later, but spelled with a D. So those are very, very just, I don't know. You might as well answer four for it or just abstain because you don't know what the hell this means. You guys never went to any of their cookouts, but hey, they all know each other. And if you want, long-term success with AMC is probably ideal to keep the dream team together. So now the critical question, to approve an amendment to our third amended and restated certificate of incorporation to increase the total number of shares of Class A common stock, the company shall have the authority to issue by 25 million shares to a total of 549, 173,073 shares of Class A common stock effective January 1st, 2022. Now, 25 million shares. At current market price, 25 million shares would be, you know, over 
billion dollars? I'm gonna play both sides to this. In a previous shareholder meeting, we learned that AMC had more cash at hand than at any other point in the company history. Having that money available immediately, like right now, probably does not make sense. With that being said, I need to hold off on this vote and I will not be submitting my vote all the way up until the 28th because I have a lot to think about. This question really leans against your belief on whether you believe the AMC squeeze is going to happen within the next month or so or within the next year, within the next six months before they have access to an additional 25 million shares. If AMC squeezes this year, if AMC squeezes by July 28th, I more than likely will vote for. Otherwise, I'd vote against to buy us more time for the squeeze. And when that happens, I would go ahead and vote for. But I do believe that after the squeeze, AMC will normalize to a much higher price in the same way GameStop did. So GameStop has normalized into the $200 area. So that would definitely allow AMC at that point to systematically dilute the shares. Now guys, let's not be contradictory fucks here because we're out on the social platform saying we love the company, we love the stock. The least we could do at that point is repay them and allow them to continue to grow. Because guys, let's be honest, if AMC runs out of cash by 2022, now let's let's keep this narrative here. We have already endured the squeeze, but by 2022 into 2022, end of 2022, AMC begins to run out of cash. What essentially is going to happen is you're gonna have another short attack on our beloved company. And whether we're in that play or we're not in that play, I just feel like if we let the company go down then by not giving them the ability to liquidate an additional 25 million shares based on the price of what AMC is at that time, we we sort of kind of wasted our time now. And I hear a lot of you saying it's about the movement, some saying it's about the attendees, some saying it's about the family, some saying it's about just changing your life. But let's not strangle AMC in the future. So let's just keep that in mind. Anyways, I hope this makes sense. Escape with the Peter. Signing out. Peace.